guys. Hi, happy Monday, everybody. Um, so today we're going to be talking about if you've been catching yourself doing all of the things that an actor should do and you're not getting results, what's happening? I'm going to put it right there. It's because you're acting from a place of being locked up in a cage. So let me decompose this and then we'll get into what is actually happening. So you may feel like you're like doing all the things in an actor's life, right? You're in an acting class, you've done your reel, you're redoing your headshots a lot, you have an agent, you have a manager. When that agent or manager is not responding to what it is that you're wanting, you're looking for other agents, you're doing casting director workshops, you're doing agent workshops, you're um, sending some pictures and some headshots and some CVs and some reels, you're doing yourself the, you know, the applying for movies and short films, like you're reaching out to directors, you're feeling like you're doing everything, you're working on your brand, you're working on, you know, how to show up in the business side of the world of acting, you're, you're like doing all the things and just saying it like I'm sweating, there's so much to do as an actor, right? That if you're doing all of those things, and you're not getting the results, it can really be frustrating. And I have a feeling that I meet a lot of actors who are coming into our community and asking, you know, about what we do and to see if it's going to help them. I see so many actors give so much of their energy, of their time, of their money, like they're investing such a big piece in doing all the things that are written in the manual of what a good actor should do. Like, you may be catching yourself overwhelmed, like working nonstop for your acting and your acting career, and you're not getting the results that match what you're putting in. And that's very, very frustrating. And uh, when we go over frustration and you work even harder than that, you might feel that you're depleted. You might feel that you're burned out. You may feel that you're overwhelmed. And I often see actors come in like really depleted and on their knees and going like, that's it. Like I've tried everything again, whether you're working a lot or not, because we have actors from all types of levels of experience coming into our community. I've had actors who come and who are working nonstop and who are depleted because they're not fulfilled and they're feeling a lot of pain when they're acting. Right. So whether the outcome is you need more bookings, or whether the outcome is I need to work, but I need to be happy when I work. I don't need to feel that much pain and and horrible sensations when I'm acting. That's an outcome too, right? It's not because you're working all the time that that's it, you're successful. No, successful means that you're actually fulfilled and feeling great when you act. And therefore, you're getting the roles that you want. And therefore, you can show up for them fully and it feels good to you. And it's impacting the audience and it's seducing the casting director. So success is a whole thing. It's not just your bookings, right? So let's get clear on that. But so wherever you're at in that, you know, ladder of experience, whether you're beginning medium or whether you're all the way at the top and you're working all the time, if you're doing all the things, taking all the classes, and I'm hearing people say, I worked with all the coaches. And when you've worked with all the coaches and it still doesn't land you the roles you want or the low, the roles that you get are still not feeling fulfilling and it's still painful. Like people have a tendency to work harder, to get a bigger coach, to get a more famous coach, to go to a bigger acting school or a bigger workshop or a bigger guru. And it keeps going bigger and bigger. More time, you're investing more and more time, you're investing more and more money, and, and it's just not giving, right? And so that's where I want us to start the discussion is that no matter how hard you try and no matter how you tick all the boxes of doing everything that you should be doing as an actor, if you're not getting the results that you want in terms of booking or in terms of how does it feel when I book and when I work, it feels horrible, then it means you're not getting the results you want, right? And the reason why you're not getting the results you want is not because you need to work harder. It's not because you need another method or another technique or another acting coach or another method, et cetera, et cetera. It's not because you need more of all of the things that you're already doing. It's actually the opposite. You need to stop. You need to stop running around like a chicken with no head because you're actually trying to run from a place that is com completely encaged, like you're in a cage 
and you're trying to show up for everything from a caged place. And what is that cage? The analogy of that cage means that you are, you have been forced into a caged version of yourself. So let me rewind that. You are showing up in a cage all the time. You're not showing up fully liberated, fully you, fully present, fully in the moment. You're showing up to your headshot session, your reels, your agent meetings, your casting, your tapes, your casting director workshops, everywhere that you're showing up, you're showing up locked up in a cage. You're in a cage and that cage is your conditioning. You've been conditioned since you were little to think a certain way, behave a certain way, feel a certain way, walk a certain way, talk a certain way, eat a certain way. Everything that you have been asked to do has been conditioned to, I need to do it in a way that I need to fit what everyone else is doing. I need to think like everyone else is thinking. I need to feel like everyone else is feeling. You have never been enabled, allowed, and encouraged to actually feel your own feelings. Primary body need for a human being. Feel your own feeling. Just reflect for a second. When were you ever encouraged to feel? I can give you the answer. I've tested it with other groups. You were encouraged to feel when you were watching content, when you were watching a story that's not yours, or you were encouraged to feel when your parents said, go to your room. If you're that angry or if you're that sad, go to your room right? No one's ever been encouraged to feel the truth of their feelings. You've been caged. You've been prevented from feeling your truth since your first day. When you started crying, what did your parents say? Shh, you're okay. So you're here, you're new, you're a newborn, and you're experiencing sadness. And what are you receiving from the people who are supposed to protect you and on whom your survival depends, don't feel. No, you're, you're fine. You're not sad. Don't do it. And then you're feeling anger and they tell you, no, stop yelling. Don't be angry. Okay, so I can't be angry too. And then you're happy and you're yelling around and screaming around the house. No, be, be quiet. Don't be so loud. Okay, so I can't be happy either. Just that, guys. Just that. You have been prevented from feeling what your body impulsively, instinctively wants to feel and uniquely wants to feel. Just that. And then you've been asked to think and learn like you've been told, like you haven't been invited in your education program. You've been invited to shut up and sit down and be quiet and do like you're told and do like others and be like others. If not, you were shamed, you were punished. You were humiliated or your love was withdrawn with your parents. Like the safety was withdrawn, right? So when I'm saying you're caged, I mean you're caged. You're not a fully open, fully liberated, freely feeling, freely thinking, freely behaving human being. No, you're not. You're completely programmed, completely wired, completely conditioned, completely locked up instrument. So if you're acting and doing all of the things an actor does from that place, no wonder that you're not getting the outcome that you want. No wonder that you're not booking and no wonder that when you're booking, it feels horrible because you're unable to be yourself. You're locked up. It's hard work. It's so much effort to act from that place. It's so much effort to show up from that place. You're locked up. It can't work right? So I'm not saying that to accuse you. I'm not saying that to make you feel terrible. I'm not even judging you. I'm just wanting to point at the thing that you're all feeling and that you don't know why is it, why is it so painful? Why is it so hard? Why am I doing all of the things? Why am I working hard? I'm committed. I'm passionate. I'm seeing the casting directors, reviewing my headshots, doing all the training, learning, learning, learning. I'm doing so much and it's not happening. Like I hear so many people who want to quit, who want to quit because it's too painful not to book or to always book and never be satisfied. I hear so many people who are about to quit 
It's not because there's anything wrong with you. It's not because you need to do more. It's not because you need another acting teacher to teach you how it's done. None of that. All of those things that you keep running after, those exterior things, are pulling you away and more and more away from your true self. The more you're doing all those things from that cage, the bigger your cage gets, the stronger your cage gets. The more you're accepting that truth is coming from the outside, the way to act in the right way is going to come from that teacher. No, it's from that teacher. No, it's from posing better and having a better skin or a better tan or a better shape on my headshots or having my reel be more glamorous this way or that way. It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. It's like you're decorating your cage. You're polishing your cage. You're putting colors on it and, and different bars on it and, and stickers on it and pins on it. It's bullshit. We can't see you. The more you do that, the, the, the more your cage gets sturdy and solid and unbreakable and the less we see through. You need to just walk out of that, of that cage, guys. Don't make that cage more solid. Don't continue to drink the Kool-Aid that you were served in the beginning. I'm not here to accuse your parents. I'm not here to accuse the schools. It's just where we're at in development. We're just conditioned in our culture, head to toe, everyone is completely conditioned in the cage, locked up in what you should be doing and what you should be feeling and what you should be sensing and what you should be behaving. You're locked in that and you're just trying to make that cage look good and be right. Nowhere can that work. Nowhere can that be art. Nowhere can that be fulfilling. It can't. It's unsatisfying for you. It's depleting. It's horrible. And it doesn't work whether it gets you the bookings or not. You won't be satisfied when you have them, right? So the invitation is here to walk out of that cage, to actually open the door. And yeah, you won't know what's out there. It's going to be scary. But that's the work we do. That's why we're here. That's why we help people reset themselves so that they can walk out of that cage and be themselves. Be yourself. You know what education means if you look at the, um, the Latin origin of the, world, of the word? It means to draw out. What does our society do with education, whether it's your parents' education at home or school education? It pushes in. It shoves it down your throat. That's not the origin of the word education. Hi, Claude. Education in its origin, in its Latin origin, means to draw out of you. So to help you get that nectar to expand and express itself everywhere. Your education, everything that you've learned from your acting classes, from your business classes and everything, is shoving down things inside of you and preventing that only nectar that you have that would everyone would want to book and that you would be satisfied surfing on and enjoying and living. It's, it's shoving it further down and down in that cage. You, you have no access to it, right? That nectar is deep, deep, deep down, hidden under the layers of conditioning. So open the cage, guys. Open the door. Open the door. You have, to, you have to find a way to open that door, which is what we do. We help you undo what's, what's locking you in. We help you undo that. You might not have access to the door by yourself. You probably don't. And that's okay. No one does. So... Make sure that if this resonates, if you're tired of doing all of the things and not having the outcome that you want, make sure that you reach out, send us an email. We did a challenge last week. I think our cart is closing in two days. Make sure you get in that train if you're wanting to walk out of that cage and rediscover who you really are and actually have you being drawn out of you, which is true education, then let us know. Um, yeah, get in touch with us, let us know, and, and we'll send you some information. All right, it was nice to see you on this Monday, and I will see you again on Wednesday for a live interview. Okay, bye guys. Ciao. Bye, Claude.